so I am doing my Briarfest 2020 haul part two. So this is going to be my models from the actual event and a couple rare models that I bought. Um, pretty much all from Facebook. So, yeah. Okay, so let's get started first with Reggie. So I actually had six Reggies. One of them is gone because I sold them, but I do still have five others, but I'm just going to show you the one. So this is the one I took out of box. He's really, really nice. Not a lot to say about him, but I do really like this model. Okay, and so then let's get into a couple of the store specials or the pop-up shop. So this is Kelpie. This is the Bouncer Crystal. He's so pretty. I love him. I'm so happy I was able to get one. That's Kelpie. Here we have the Stablemate collection, the best of Briarfest. I actually bought two sets. So the other set is on my Stablemate shelves over there. Um, these four are still in the box. And then I have my two Jangos because these I'm going to be getting rid of. But I'm keeping both the Jangos because of the big difference in them. So if you can see, this one's a lot lighter with dapples. And then this one's really dark and has almost no dapples. So I was going to be selling a whole set, but now I have to keep them both because they're so different from each other. So yeah. <laughs> um, and then here we have Airy, And I do still have his box. Uh, it's more over there, but I did actually take this one out. Um, I was thinking about keeping him in the box like I did with Sarge, but I had to take him out. He was just too cute. So I really love this little guy. He is adorable. Um, then we have my Mackenzie. And this plush is absolutely adorable. And something that's really cool about mine is it's actually number a thousand of a thousand. So that was really cool. But yeah, this plush is so soft and precious. I love it. <laughs> and then here we have Encore. So I got this during breakfast week. Um, this is the Clouds Legacy. Cloud Foundation plushie, and I just thought it was so cute, and I really love Cloud and the documentaries and everything, so that's something I purchased. Um, then I got a Stablemate Lover's Grab bag, and it was all stuff I already had, so I was really disappointed in it. Um, I sold one of them, but the other ones is they're not selling. This uh, I am gonna keep though this extra Lex because I actually really love this model. Um, but the rest is the 2016 set and a sequins. So it was very disappointing. Also, it came with a furlong. Even though it's not a stable mate, but yeah, I think they kind of just threw these in every box to get rid of them. But anyways, that was my stable mate grab bag. It was kind of a flop, but whatever. <laughs> you win some, you lose them. Uh, and then I bought this mug. This was in the store on Friday. It's super awesome and very heavy. It's really cool. It's one of my favorite things from the weekend. Then we have Cheesecake. He is so adorable. I absolutely love this model. And yeah, I bought all three store specials and gloss too. 
<laughs> um, anyway, so those will be here in December. But yeah, I absolutely adore Cheesecake. He's so cute. And then here we have Benelli. And, oh my god, I love Benelli. Um, and, ah, just not enough good things to say about him. He's so beautiful. Sorry, the lighting isn't very good on, on the side of my bedroom. But I love Benelli so much. Like, he just makes me fall in love with Shannon Dell so much. Um, I just think he's beautiful. And he's way better looking in person. Like, he was my least favorite of the store specials in photographs. But, I don't know. Like, he's just gorgeous in person. I love holding him and looking at him. He's just so pretty. And then we have WH Top Gun. The newsworthy. And he's so precious. I love his eyes. They are just so cute. Does he have like a hair on him? Oops. <laughs> that's gross. Um, yeah, he does. He has one. <laughs> that's gross. Um, <laughs> but he's so pretty. I love him. Yeah, you can see his eyes better there. He's just a gorgeous, gorgeous boy. So that is that. Okay, now let's get into... Oh, I guess I do have one other pop-up store item. And that is Green Man. Look at how cute. He reminds me so much of the Cruel Prince. I just love him. Um, yeah, he is so neat. I wish he came with the little neck tag though. Like a lot of the pop-up store models have the little neck tag. But he doesn't have one. Which is kind of annoying, but whatever. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's get into special runs. So here we have Lou. Lou was the sham. And they all came glossy. He's gorgeous. I got him on Sunday. I'm so happy I got picked for him. He's just so, so pretty. Here we have Oak. And like a lot of people, Oak was my favorite special run this year. I mean, he's just too pretty not to be my favorite. I absolutely love him and I love Gorg and oh, I just love this horse so much. He is one of the absolute best special runs I think they've ever done. He's just so pretty. And then here we have Thorn. So I got chosen for six thorns. So an entire special run ticket was a bust because I was not buying six. So I bought three um, and all three came matte. So I traded one for a glossy. Then I'm keeping this thorn and I have another matte thorn that I need to sell. But... Um, Anyways, <laughs> I love Thorin though. He's so cute. Um, but I definitely prefer him in glossy. So this is the glossy one. And he just pops in gloss. He just looks so great in it. Um, so the matte's nice too, but definitely prefer the gloss. And then here we have my Slancha surprises. So... First one we have here is the Matt Palomino. I love her. I love that she's chalky. It just makes her look so nice. And she is so pretty. Um, I wasn't sure, like when I first saw the colors, I was thinking she was my least favorite, but she's definitely not. I just, mm, I love her. I think she has such a sweet little face. She is precious. And then I have the matte silver black. Very nice. I think in matte this is my least favorite color, but um, regardless, she's still very, very pretty. But then I got the silver black in glossy. And okay, like I can't even begin to describe the differences. Like in gloss, she is amazing 
and I was so happy to pull another glossy. This is my second time ever pulling a glossy at Briarfest. It was so rewarding to see her not be a mat. I love her. So that is her. And then over here we have Ash. Ash is a very, very pretty boy who again has super gorgeous eyes. Eh, but they're just coming off black. But um, they're very, very pretty. There's a stamp. I love him. He is so pretty. So that is Ash. Then we have Boudica. Boudica, I didn't get drawn for, so I bought her from a lady off Facebook. And she was the last horse to arrive to me, so I'm happy that she's here in time for the haul, though. And I, I love this horse. Um, oh my god, I just think she's so awesome. Um, yeah, I just... Mm, I love her so much. I think she's one of my favorite decos ever for Briarfest. Every time I look at her, I like her more and more. She's just so stunning. And then here we have Epona. And again, I did not get picked for Epona. So I bought her from a lady on Facebook. And I got the Loose Mane. When I bought her, um, we didn't even know there were variations between the two. So I had no idea what I was getting. And I got the Loose Mane and I'm very happy. I would have preferred Loose over Braided, so... That was a pretty awesome surprise there. But yeah, I really, really like Epona. She's very pretty. So that is her. And then we have some special ponies. So the first one here is After Party. He was the 2009 volunteer model. Um, and I love him. So he did come with flaws. As you can see, he is that there and that there. And then he has this mark here, which I will be able to get off. And luckily, that's on his show side. So, that's the easiest one to get off. And luckily, these are on his off side. So, when he's on the show, then they won't be super noticeable. But I've always wanted this guy. And I saw him. And he was a decent price. So, I grabbed him. And I love him. He is so, so pretty. And then... <laughs> I have a glossy The Desperado and he was another one that when I saw him for sale I just I needed uh his COAs in my binder but he did he these guys all have COAs um yeah he's so pretty in gloss I absolutely adore him then uh oops I also have DZ Weedo, who was another 2008 Glossy Prize model. This was bought from Briar Crazy for sure. One of my best friends, and I love him. Um, I also bought another Glossy Prize model from her, a Glossy Vallegro. He's not in this haul though because I kind of got him like way before Briarfest, so and I didn't open him during Briarfest weekend, so I didn't really feel like he counted. But I did also purchase him. Um. And then we have Truffles. Truffles was one of my big buys for Briarfest. He was the 2015 Diorama Prize model. And guys, I love him so much. Like, he is just perfect, flawless, incredible, 10 out of 10. I love him so much. So that's him. And then I mentioned in part one that I did buy a raffle model. Okay, time to reveal who it is. Da -da -da -dun, da -da -da -dun. It, uh, mm, mm. Can you guess? Can you guess now? Okay, maybe. Uh, it is You Ought to Be in Pictures, the 2010 raffle model. Now, the other 2010 raffle model, Hollywood Glamour, was the first and only raffle model I've ever won. And when her brother came up for sale, I had to get him. 
So he is again stamped in the really nice big text that I miss. And guys, he is so gorgeous. Let me try and get a little bit of his detail shown here. But seriously, I can't get over him. He's so stunning. Now he does have this mark right there that I was told has been there since he was bought. So I'm assuming the velvet bag got a little too close there. Um, because that definitely looks like a purple bat or the the velvet bag stain. Um, but wow, he is just perfect. He's nanned, so that's good. We're good to go there. <laughs> I am super excited that he's nanned. But yeah, that is my big purchase. He is absolutely incredible, and I am so happy that he's mine. So that is my Briarfest 2020 haul. I had a pretty great Briarfest despite it being virtual. And there is also one more part coming. Let me show, cause I did get my ribbons in the mail. These are my open show ribbon placings. I will be making a part three showing each horse and what they won. So that'll be exciting. And I'm very proud of what I did. Here's the stack. It's so thick. It's so much thicker than I thought it would be. And then it came in the mail and I was like, oh my god. I did really well. So anyways, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you all had a really great Briar Fest. And I will see you in 2021, hopefully in person. So wear your mask. <laughs> Bye, guys.